ever heard of fog harvesting? No? Well, it's a way of conserving water and avoiding droughts. And now, Cape Town's Water and Waste Committee has installed two fog nets near Table Mountain. NCA's Nobisuti Hejana investigates. In 2018, Cape Town declared a day zero. The city was gripped by a crippling drought due to insufficient rainfall. Fast forward to 18 months ago when the city's Water and Waste Committee installed fog nets, thus in a bid to come up with better ways to save water. In response to that drought, the city um, invested in implementing desalination, water reuse and aquifer abstraction at an accelerated rate. But we're also looking at more innovative ways of augmenting our water supply. So how does it work? Well, the water in the fog will be collected through a process of evaporation during hot temperatures. As fog moves through the, the mesh material, um, water droplets are then collected and stored in a uh, collection chamber. Um, and then obviously we monitor um, the yield or volume of water. Where the experts believe this initiative could yield positive results, it's proven to be a success in countries like Ecuador, Chile, Peru and Oman. So these projects should be scalable in order for a significant amount of water to be harvested from the fog nets. But that is exactly why Table Mountain is such an interesting site to experiment with fog nets. Because Table Mountain has 184 days per annum with fog. Depending on how much data is collected through fog harvesting in two years' time, the city of Cape Town could start using this form of conservation to collect water that could even be fit for consumption. Nabasutu Yejana, Cape Town.